Today, so many people I meet around the world have the same questions. Wallahi al-Azim. It doesn't matter which part of the planet you go, people have the same confusions today. Same questions over and over again. And one of the most common questions I hear is people say, you know, there are so many different versions of Islam. So many different videos about what the Qur'an means or what hadith means. And some people believe in this and other people believe in that. This shaykh gives this fatwa, that one gives that fatwa. Should I follow this or should I follow that? Somebody says this is halal, somebody says this is haram. I don't know anything anymore. It's all confusing. There's so many variations. How am I supposed to get guidance? How do I know if I'm even following the right thing? How am I supposed to know? It's too much information for me to process. And I agree, we are living in information overload. We are, there we, we are bombarded with so many different perspectives, even within Islam. Look at the audience that is sitting in this hall. Even though we're locals from this area, most of us, the way that you've learned about Islam from the person next to you is very different. The teachers you've had, the people you've been exposed to, the lessons you've learned, they're very different from each other. So there's a lot of variation in how we are exposed to Islam, and a person gets overwhelmed and says, how am I supposed to know if I'm even following the right thing? And you know what, this ayah is the answer. I don't guarantee guidance and YouTube doesn't guarantee guidance. And Google doesn't guarantee guidance. And people don't guarantee guidance. It is our hope that Allah Himself will give me personally guidance. Guidance will not come from anywhere else. Whether you have no information or over information, that doesn't matter. That Allah will guide you to the right course depends on how much you ask Allah, not anyone else. And once you ask Allah, you don't have to be nervous anymore because you have absolute certainty that Allah will give you guidance. He does not turn anyone away. Getting guidance from Allah is not difficult. It is not difficult. Allah has opened the door of guidance wide open for those who seek it. We just have to be people who seek it. That's it. I mean, this ayah belongs to Surah Al-Kahf. And I can't talk enough about Surah Al-Kahf as is evidenced in this khutbah. But these, these Ashab Al-Kahf, these people of the cave that we read about every Friday, these people have no prophet around them, no alim around them, no shaykh around them, no sahabi around them. They're by themselves. And they live in a village where everybody worships idols. And they come to a conclusion that, you know, there can only be one God. They don't even know how to say it. And, and just, we can't worship these things. We can't worship other gods. And that was enough for Allah to guide them. With no knowledge. With no revelation, nothing. That was enough for Allah to guide them and guide them so much that today people who study the deen for years and years and years study tafasir of these young men who knew nothing compared to the ulama that learned from them. Because they got Allah's guidance. Because Allah would give them guidance. Because it doesn't matter how, you know, how dark your situation is, how hopeless it is. When you have hope in Allah, that's enough. That's just enough.